Okay, uh, when you guys are ready. Here we go. We are Bridges and a Bottle, and this is Midnight Sessions Live. As a band, it's always kind of about what do we do next. And I remember we were all sitting around a rehearsal kind of talking about it. We knew we wanted to make another record, but somebody threw out the idea of kind of trying to make a stripped down acoustic DVD on our own. And we thought, yeah, let's try to tackle it. Around that time, we were writing a lot of new material. And we felt like, although we had some success with the Trojan Horse record and a few of the songs on it got some radio play, we thought it'd be a good opportunity to introduce these new songs that are going to be on the new record. Everyday love, I never could take a love upon all my knees. I can't breathe. Now, this right here is actually the set of the barn that we shot Midnight Sessions in. The set was inside an old barn on this multi million dollar estate in Pennsylvania. And we basically just took this little area, this corner of the barn, and set up. I think Josh, the light director, just did an incredible job coming in here and making a barn look like that. This is like a couple century year old barn. But the night of the shooting, it was like 95 degrees, no air conditioning. And as you can see, uh, what song was it? I guess New Year's Resolution. We were contending with some crazy weather. You can see lightning flashes and all that stuff. And that's all real. That's, that's not stuff that we put in there. What's going on right now is we spent about, I don't know, maybe 12 hours or so, so far, setting this whole thing up. And everybody's pretty much soaking wet, just waiting on the rain to hopefully stop here pretty soon. It's a wet out there. It's a lot wet out there, and the upstairs is flooding. And we even got to a point the first night where we just honestly did not know if it was going to work. Not the video aspect of it, but the audio aspect was really difficult to shoot on spot. The DVD was shot over the course of two days, I think, and a lot of what you see, the brunt of it was the second night. A lot of us weren't feeling that great, and it was extremely hot on the set, and it was really uncomfortable, but for those couple minutes at a time where we were playing, we had to do our best to make it look like we felt great. We'd done a music video before with the same director, Mark Eaton, but we never shot anything live, so we were a little unsure what to expect. But Mark would do his thing, and after a few takes, we felt really comfortable. Mark was very good about creating a relaxed environment. The idea to use strings in the performance was an idea that we had from the very beginning. It's just a completely different element that adds so much beauty and so much color to like a stripped down acoustic performance. For us it's all about coming up with different ways to present what we do as musicians, as performers. At the end of the second day when we were done shooting, it was a great feeling knowing what we had accomplished. Well, looking back, it was a pretty crazy idea. It turned out to be a fun time and a really good learning experience. There were a lot of people that put in a lot of time to the project, and uh, we definitely want to take a second and just thank everybody. I think it turned out great. Everyone really pulled together and did their best to make it work. That's it. That's us. There we Bridges are. In a bottle. Yep. Thanks for Keep checking it out. Yeah. Absolutely.